Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hope everyone's doing wonderful. This wonderful Monday. <laughs> it's a good week. It's going to be for us all. So. Think positive and it will be. <laughs> That's what I'm doing with this painting. I'm thinking positive. <laughs> so, I've been daring lately with trying different colors. And I think I'm kind of going with the oranges today. Well, red and oranges. We'll see. Hey, I've got this cord hanging here. Hopefully it won't get in the way too much. I did not charge my phone while I was sleeping. Anyway, uh, I have a 16 by 20. And I know it is like boom, right there under the camera. But I like it overhead. I don't want it angled. You may not get a full view, especially when, like I do this, you're not going to see the top and bottom exactly. But I will bring it down in the end. So let's go for it. Okay, so everything's mixed with two parts floor troll, one part paint, and water. It's like I always do. I'm using no silicone. I'm using Artist Loft White Flow. Hopefully I have it at a good consistency, all the same consistency, all my paints. And they're all with exactly two parts full draw too. Then I had some Arteza Burnt Umber. Okay, working with that, not too much. Okay, could have used a little more than that, but this is a mixture. <laughs> Okay, of Brick Red, Craft Mark, Burnt Sienna, like I used yesterday and, well, the day before I think I did, no, yesterday. Burnt Sienna with a little red mixed in. So it's a Sienna mix, I call it. Okay, so those are mixed. The Burnt Sienna with a little red in it and this brick red. <laughs> so, then I chose Fire Opal. And it's the only one that's metallic. So we'll see what that does. Then I picked Buttered Yam from Anita. Here's the Fire Opal. Pretty. Little shimmery, so that might kind of look cool in there, but then it might get just mixed up with all the other same colors. And this is the buttered yam. <laughs> oh no, here she goes. So, I'm thinking that one's okay. Oh, hold on, because she's a barker head. Here, as soon as they told her to go lay down, my hair turned off, so that's okay. So yeah, she's barking at nothing, pure nothing. Little chihuahua. Well, she's not little, she's tubby wubby, like her mommy. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck, because normally I use so many colors. And I do like using just two colors. I really do, I try, and I'm gonna start doing that too. Just two color flip cups and stuff. But I'm gonna stick with this ribbon pour type thing. I'm gonna layer my colors. And I was gonna put pick black, and I thought, nah, I don't think black would look pretty with all those colors. So I'm going with the white, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> and it's okay if I have a lot of white. And then the burnt umber. Now, you know, just for a little bit of contrast, so I'm looking at it that way. I suppose this burnt sand is going to be our main mix. Well, it really doesn't have to be. But I, I mean, primary color of the painting, so yeah. Or this burnt sienna mix, I'll call it, with the brick red. Okay. 
going from dark to light. Okay. And then the fire opal. <laughs> and buttered yam. So yeah, I'm being varying. This is not me. I stick in my comfort zone. At my age, just stressful stepping out. <laughs> You're setting your old ways. So I need about 12 ounces. I'm going to go more than that because something funny is going to show up. Let's we'll stick a little more of that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should be using more of that color. They are pretty together, though. Is my camera rolling? Yeah, okay. It's hard for me to see up there. So I'm at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We're good. Just a little shot of white. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. And then here comes my kids. My son and his friends. Okay. Let's ignore them. Get some cells, so that's awesome. Just nervous. Oh, there comes that white right at the bottom. Oh, not too good, but that's all right. That's why I'm running away because that might interfere with this butte right here. Look at this pretty. <laughs> that's beautiful isn't it I'm just shaking it to get those little dry spots so that it will flow evenly be really pretty. Anything else? Good. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Now, testing for specs. Do the one torch first. Not really. Not specking a little bit there, so let's let this do natural. All right, here we go. So I am digging this area, except that white might look kind of funny, but I can always break that up with the stick too when I get in there. Just because I know these. Little dudes. Alright. Am I in view? Isn't that pretty? Look at the cells. So that's cool. we're going to lose them right away, but I think we're going to get more. I really am loving this. 
hardly ever use oranges like Bruce can get that funny thing there. So we're just gonna roll it this way. Like at the end, I can tip off. Of course, this look, it's like half and half half this color, half that color. That sure is pretty with the white. See, I should have used more white. Darn it. I kind of knew better, too. I thought, it's, oh, that white's gonna look pretty in there, but it's popping up. More I stretch it because it's underneath. Alright. So that's pretty. Alright. Oh wow, look at that middle. That's a trip and a half. Alright, let me think here. I do dig this very much so. Wish I'd use more white. Now I'm just gonna get that little white strip off. Still a lot of paint on here, so we're good. Okay. So this could be me being my picky self. It is beautiful. Okay, it's just, you know, we get to where we're picky picky. And that's pretty cool. And then there's all these little cells coming up in here. I hate to stretch. And then there's the white lacing a little oh, bit. You can actually see that fire opal just kind of blazing in there. So I'm going to leave it alone, guys. Remarkably, I'm leaving it alone. So it's not specking up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone. You don't wanna stretch it out too much. And then you get all this stretchy stuff on the sides. And I kinda like the composition of it, so. And you know, we get picky and then that's where we ruin it. Well, you guys let me know what you think about the overall composition. I know the colors are pretty. That is no doubt. But I want to know if you like the pattern, the design of it. Okay? Then I'll feel better. That's a good thing. This is gorgeous. Am I in view? Because I can't see if I am. I'm sorry if I'm wiggling too. Let me turn it around. So I definitely would say that would be top in this bottle. That's unique. Digging what's going on in the middle. We got lots of stuff going on in there. Lacing, some cells, this huge center piece. <laughs> That's what kind of gives it that uh, center piece, center focal point. 
Bam. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know exactly what you think. And I'm serious. Like, say, oh, I could have could stretched it this way. Or maybe you should have done this. Maybe you should have done that. I could have wiped off this white, but that's pretty up there. I could have stretched it more this way. But I'm liking this. This is cool. So it's not bad. All right, it's brick looking. Red brick. Beautiful. Beautiful painting that will match somebody's home very nicely. All right, you will convince me it's pretty, okay, guys? <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And uh, tell me if I did right by leaving it alone. I think this front and that back. Have a good one, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Definitely push that like button. Uh, keep forgetting I always say that. Yep. Press the like button. And thanks for subscribing to all the new subscribers. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.